New at five tonight, an effort to stop youth violence before it starts is underway at Trinity Health in Muskegon. The program called Safer Teens is the brainchild of the University of Michigan's Institute for Firearm Injury Prevention. Fox 17's Julie Dunmeyer shares what sparked this idea and how it all works. Dr. Brian Stork is a urologist who noticed he was getting a lot of calls to Trinity Hospital in Muskegon to consult for gun violence victims. There were just so many people with gun violence injuries here that I felt like we needed to do something. So Dr. Stork started to do research along with the help of colleagues and found the results were astonishing. Young black men received the majority of firearm injuries with nearly 70% of those injuries involving attempted murder or bodily harm. 25% of the injuries were self-inflicted or accidental. This preventable problem also costly. We did a study. We tried to um, prove that the hospital was losing money on the care of gun violence injuries because we thought if we could show that and how much Medicaid was spending on these injuries, that we might be able to get some community support beyond just the trauma that it's causing the patients and the communities. We found that um, Medicaid spent over a million dollars a year here in Muskegon covering gun violence injuries. And we saw that overall the hospital lost money on providing care for gun violence victims. Stork's research, which studied gun violence in Muskegon from 2015 to 2019, caught the attention of the hospital's injury prevention coordinator, Holly Alway. Muskegon is not immune to firearms related injuries. That's where Safer Teens comes in. The violence reduction program screens young people who are exposed to violence right at the hospital, and it's proven to work 12 months after implementation. We know that firearms related injuries and fatalities now outpace motor vehicle crash fatalities, which is something I never thought I would see in my lifetime. So just as we have traffic safety programs and child passenger safety programs, we need to have firearms injury prevention programs. Safer Teens starts with a simple screening process. Those who are flagged then get a one-on-one -on -one conversation with an interventionist. From there, community resources and alternatives are presented to hopefully stop the violence before it starts. And I know from experience, all of our colleagues in the hospital would much rather not have those patients come in. We'd rather have a community that thrives. And I believe because of the magnitude of the problem that every hospital has to invest in violence prevention. In Muskegon, Julie Dunmeyer, Fox 17 News. Safer Teens was first implemented in May of 2023. More tangible results are expected in May of 2024.